In this channel, we have a tradition where I should be suiting up for the season finale, but I'm banned on Twitch, so I'm going to be lazy. No suit. Let's begin. All right. The kingdom has been saved. Rolo is one of us. The church is going to hate us for taking a demon kind in. What else? Yeah, our kingdom is messed up. Not the sign. Alright, yeah, that's how it started. We were a fraud, we were a loser, but it turns out we are a local legend. And these instructors now, right? They think of him as a fucking local legend. I mean, this dude literally thinks of him as like more important than his like adopted daughter Ines. 14 of which was spent in a mountain swinging the sword. 15 years ago. We're back to episode one stuff. The only man standing when everyone else is on the ground, panting. He's still doing it. Yeah, he's a grinder. <laughs> okay, wow. wait, wait, wait. what kind of test is this? Hold the fuck up. So far swinging. You've taught us how to swing a wooden sword. Then what? You want us to fucking attack this metal steel ball? You swing it at a per- what, what? What is- what is this? You- you- you, you skipped a couple steps. Three. <laughs> it's- it's just dodging? You're just dodging? Putty! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you want us to parry a steel ball with a wooden sword? He just fucking broke his arm. Don't drop that shit. I mean, he's right. He would die in this instance. He's getting back up with the broken arm? You learn it yourself? Oh, he's gonna do that classic swordsman shit where you got like leaves falling down. Well, sometimes you're trying to catch the leaves all at once before it falls down after you bonk a tree. But this time, what? Cut all the leaves in one go? Shing! The way! Such elegance. And he just said he couldn't see most of it, see, meaning he did see a couple of it. I mean, that's pretty impressive already. He know, he knows. Nani? <laughs> He's a genius. He just, he can just hear the moves, bro. The rhythm, the tempo, he just gets it. So seeing the training session from the teacher's perspective is pretty interesting because like the first episode, it seems like Nora went to a place. There was a training session, which most of it just kind of got off screen. Then he gets kicked out seemingly or how he leaves and we're like, oh, no, he must really suck. But from the beginning, the teacher saw a huge potential, but we just never saw it from their perspective. <laughs> and that's what he did. Putty! Putty! Because he's the parry god. Yeah, the parry is useful. What do you mean? He's already got it. Waste of your time. Yeah, I guess like this is what we saw, right? In episode one of him kind of getting rejected, but... It comes from like, oh, he's not learning a skill. He might be wasting his potential here. Maybe he's not supposed to be a swordsman, but he did get parry, right? I mean, parry's a skill. It's not like an amazing skill. I mean, in hindsight, it is an amazing skill. It's, it's done things. It's parried the dragon. It's parried everything, right? But 
this isn't Nor being like untalented. It's just he just he getting skills, or even the skills he gets. It's just very basic fundamental skills like parry or little heal, little fire. Right. This is the guy that considers Nor's like his son. Alright. Two months after training. <laughs> the steel ball or the, the these dudes are just throwing boulders off a cliff and you sit there, you you just get hit. It's like you have to tank it. That's the whole training. Oh my god. Oh. Ow. Two months of what kind of training lets you have a body to fucking just take rocks from a cliff. These trains are hilarious. Uh oh. Woo! He was ready to do it, bro. He was dead fucking serious about that. And that was an accident. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's a boulder the size of like 10 of these things. He's got the balls. Bald. Slight improvement? It's like a huge improvement. Imagine if it just took one more day. They always cut him short at the three month mark because he didn't learn some sort of like useful skill to them, right? Imagine it's just like, yep, the first week after the third month is when he was gonna get the skill. Or, I don't know, this is just the ultimate sample session where you go from one place to another learn all the basics all the shit that you know rather than being a one-trick pony in swordsmanship tanking magic healing whatever nor can do it all even though it's like a very basic thing and that's what he turned out to be a local fucking legend yeah they kicked him not because he was useless but they felt guilty right he deserves to be where his efforts will get rewarded all the instructors didn't kick him because he was an incompetent loser. No, 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 no. It's just a like, ah, shit, this kid's too good, and I think I'm wasting his time. He never really did archery, did he? What kind of accuracy is that? Wow. One more. That's fucked up. Everyone else gets to actually use a bow and arrow. And he's still just throwing a rock. And he's still just bullseye every time while everyone else sucks. She's intimidated by him. This is straight up being envious. Or maybe even, I don't know, jealousy? Like, what the hell is this, bro? She doesn't want him to do it because she knows that he'll be godlike. <sighs> yeah, to throw the arrows, true. <laughs> he literally can't do it because he's too strong. Break it, too. Break it. No, he's gonna break it. He's gonna break this shit. That was a cute, that was a cute uh, effect. You see this mountain of fucking corpses of bows? Oh my god. Like, at, at what point do you say enough? You try like a thousand bows here. Maybe after the first like five, you're like, you know what? Okay, I get it. Still throwing rocks. Bullseye every time. In the mountains. I bet those birds were also like super like... OP birds, the super colorful ones, right? Like 100% these are not regular birds. Probably fucking hunting down Phoenix. Thunder Flash. That's just his natural habitat. Cap. He, he literally busted a hole after hitting Bullseye so much and now every shot has gone beyond the fucking hole, man.
Wasting his time here, straight up. This might be actually the most waste of time we spent. Everyone else, right? The swordsmanship, we learned the basics. The tanking, we built up like some sort of like sturdiness. This bro? Well, maybe he was already sturdy. I feel like we wasted three months here actually. Like nothing was fucking learned. He was already hitting bullseye from the beginning. <laughs> あ、アサシン。お前があのノールか。いいだろう。始める。シュアワイナット、オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オールライト。オール
I was just born in a fucking, I don't know, I just assumed that he's just from the mountains, right? And something about that place is super special too, because there was like these two barriers that was set and Nor was told never to leave beyond that. Hmm, I see. And it's a winter time, is he gonna wait here until winter is over? It's so cold outside! Damn. It's actually just ignored him. And you continue ignoring him. Oh, he will. Is he not eating anything? He's literally just camping here? It's looking like it. Look how disheveled he looks. Oh. Whoa. That was interesting camera work. Like, what the hell is going on? He fell and then Sensei caught us. Finally, you give in. That's the one. It should have never been possible? But you just said it's impossible that he even fucking got a healing skill despite not having that rite of passage something. Went through everybody. Well, he was always... What about that poison resistance? Right? Something about how him eating super dangerous poison shit in the mountains has created this innate resistance and it's something that only like the a healing sovereign can really do all right bye-bye yeah that was a miracle he can wield the power of miracles without sleep <laughs> Crazy. And he gets rejected from everybody. Everyone still kicks him out. Despite seeing that immense talent just because he doesn't have a skill. A useful skill. Seemingly useful skill. He gets kicked out. Maybe it's better this way because it ended up him just being a master of everything at the end of the day. Hmm? What is it? Yeah, and instead, what did he do? You fucking idiots lost the best talent you could ever find. He went into the mountains for the next 14 years, swung a sword. 14 years just saying putty, putty, putty. <laughs> and then he came a god. You should. It's a bit too late, though. いろずかしくなったな。わしも正義賛成じゃ。同じく。シグはどうです。俺はすぐにノールを去りますが、落ち着いてください。では改めて出る。それでいいですね。オールライト。いそいで本人を見。ウェブバックホーム。And <笑> なんとかな。これが落ちてたぞ。いや、ゲスでよ。お前さん、ミスラに向かってたはずじゃ。ああ。ああ。急いで引き。What oh, the and then we fought that like super crazy adventurer guy who turned bad. And then we came home. And then we parried a dragon. And then we parried an army. And then we went to the empire and parried their ass. That's crazy. If you think about like, like this entire arc in a single day. Holy shit. <laughs> The construction guild. Alright. 
<laughs> Even the shovel, bro. It's, it's just something about this is hilarious. I just love how he just uses his sword as a shovel. Womp. Yeah. I mean, it's very useful. Insane day, bro. That weird guy. And then the dragon. Yeah. Yeah, because we spammed that shit a lot. <laughs> Flying by Lin's magic. We just kept spamming that every time. Uh -oh. They were? They were in on it with the Empire. Oh, the Magical Empire and the Holy Mithra place. They're in on it together. Holy Mithra, that's where they create this fucking gem shit. Okay, okay. So beyond just Rolo, there is another reason why they are hostile towards us. Good. Ah, these sovereigns are a bunch of fucking frauds, bro. Oh, just showed up at the end when Nor cleaned up everything. Oh, that's right. All you need is him. The poop shoveler. That's crazy that he did everything up till pairing the Empire and coming back, and then he worked all night just shoveling rubble, and he still hasn't ate. He deserves way more than just bread. Yo, the king should be having a banquet for Noor. Yeah. Let's say it could be said exactly opposite. Everyone wouldn't be where they are if it wasn't for Noor's help. This is true. This sword is insane. What did he just say? Although it won't see much flashy action, motherfucker, you, in a single day, you defeated a dragon, an entire army, and then an empire with that sword. Flashy action, my ass. It's, it's the fucking flashiest sword there is now. That's right. <laughs> I love how he's literally already a hero, and he doesn't even recognize that he's a hero. Just like... He is this kingdom's hero. He's literally the one thing that is holding it together. The sovereigns are all frauds. And he doesn't even know. He's just like, one day, I, I'm going to rise a rank from like F rank adventurer. And like, I don't know, I can maybe actually go to dungeon. Also, that's another really interesting thing. How we never went into the dungeon after episode one. And even then, we were barely in the outskirts of the inner dungeon helping Lin. And then everything has been outside and external threats. Huh. I thought dungeon be super important, but we got baited. Maybe it's important for season two, or maybe it's never important. There's the ending. Putty! One last putty! Putty! Oh! I parry. Bald! And put his hat back. And that, my friend, is I parry everything. How do you feel about the show? Coming into the season, I felt like, conceptually, this was my favorite. One Trick Pony is something that I'm always compelled by. The idea that this guy can only parry was a hilarious concept. And the first episode, the first episode was pretty entertaining. But I can't lie to you. I felt very annoyed as I realized that... The entire gag and the running humor, the comedy, stems from Nor pairing his brain cells and the stupidity, the absolute stupidity at this play. Something about that shit pissed me off. All the way until we got sent back to the kingdom after being sent to Mithra. And then ever since I parry a dragon, I parry an army, I parry an empire, all that shit, ever since then, it's just been fucking, woo! There's some great moments for sure. 
There's also this one soundtrack that was just so stupid hype when Nord does the berry stuff. And that actually gave me like goosebumps. I think that this show, minimum 6.5 out of 10. I don't think it's a definitive 7 or 7.5. I, I think that what this show has shown us, the comedy that didn't align with me, but maybe it's a personal thing. I feel like it's minimum a 6.5 out of 10 and could easily be argued into being higher and into the realm of a 7 point something. But I'll, I'll give a minimum range of 7.5. I don't think it's going to extend into the 8s, but like around that range, I think that's where this show is. I completely enjoyed the show, even though there were moments when I was just fucking mauling. I hope a season 2 comes out and that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.